Hey, hello everybody, we are back here on Prehistoric Hunt, and today we are going to be trying to get some of my gear back. I, uh, ran into some Tyrannosaurus Rexes for the first time, and, uh, yeah, it didn't go well, so I figure we might as well start the video with, uh, trying to get our gear back and, uh, trying to take down those Rexes. We also have a contract going to kill two Rexes, so it's, uh, perfect. We got two Rexes guarding our body, so we're gonna have to kill them one way or another. Uh, might as well complete a contract along the way, right? But I've actually been enjoying this game quite a bit. It's, uh, honestly a lot of fun. It definitely reminds me a lot of the Hunter Primal. And this game's actually going to be getting a pretty big update soon as well. Uh, originally, when I did my first video on this game, I thought the update was already out, and it wasn't. It's going to be coming out very soon, though, and it's going to contain a lot of good stuff, like a uh, complete overhaul of the look of the environment. It's going to look a lot more jungly and realistic. Uh, they're also adding a 700 Nitro. They're adding three new dinos, including the Carno, which is going to be pretty sweet as well. And uh, they're redoing some of the AI for the dinosaurs. Along with, I believe, improving interactions between the different dinos, so there's a lot of good stuff coming for this game. And I'm so excited that I found it when I did, because it looks like we're about to get a pretty sweet update for it as well. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's not good. There's Rexes coming this way, and we're nowhere near my body. Oh, no. Just don't move. What is going on? Why is my character like... Okay, I think we're good. I guess it was because they were walking around. Oh yeah, it's the, the camera shake. Those are the two Rexes that keep killing me. And I don't want that to happen again. We need to sneak our way over to my gear so that I actually have everything on me. Oh no. This might be bad. Oh no. Oh gosh. Ah. <laughs> no. Well, back to the drawing board once again and we're running low on ammo as well. I also discovered that uh, whenever you die, you don't lose everything. Uh, for some reason, I thought that you didn't lose anything at all, but you actually do lose a little bit of your inventory. Uh, it's not all of it, but as you can see, we have way less ammo than we did last time, so you lose a portion of your inventory. I'm not sure how much, I'm guessing half, but uh, it's, it, it's pretty significant if you keep dying over and over again to a T-Rex. I once again hear them. I feel like we're just not going to catch any breaks at all trying to uh, get back to our gear. Because these Rexes are just camping our bodies. And we've died I think three times now so we've got a lot to recover. I mean eventually we gotta kill one of these things right? Oh oh gosh. Now might have to be the time as well. Oh my gosh, both of them are so close. Oh no, <laughs> this is the end, once again. I don't see myself making it out of this. Oh <laughs> no, <laughs> there's literally nothing I can do there. And oh my gosh, now we've spawned so far away. Oh, and as you guys can see, I did unlock a brand new fast traveling location. So uh, we also have that available, which is uh, going to be pretty good as well. Uh, but there's not really uh, too much we can do with that right now. We kind of just got to get our stuff back. Oh gosh. Man, at this point, I just want to slowly get back to my gear. I am uh, so tired of getting camped by these Rexes. Ah, we are gonna have to really work for this. I can already tell. Oh gosh. We're getting close to one of our bodies at least. But they are coming this way. We need we need to run. I think we have to run. I, I don't see us getting out of this unless we do. Oh gosh.
We might make it. I don't know how close they are, but I think we made. I think we made it. I think we're far enough away from them. Maybe not though. Doesn't hurt to try and survive, but it never works. Oh man, this has been quite an unfortunate event. <laughs> I already hear it. Oh man, we are just getting slaughtered, absolutely slaughtered. And you know, it would make sense that uh, when I finally get back over here again, they would be slowly making their way towards me. Uh, we're getting close to the bodies, but. I don't even know if we're going to be able to get much. You know, if we can get on top of the hill there, we might stand a fighting chance. We might have a chance if we can do that. We're going to go for it. We're going to try it. We are going to see if we can get up top and snipe them. I don't know how this is going to go, but we're going to see. Oh my gosh, I can see it. I can see one of our original loot piles and they have left the area so we can actually go back and get our stuff finally. It is about time now. Uh, where is the rest? I know there's at least one more pile somewhere around here. I think it's a little bit further up or over, but uh, it should be here somewhere. Ah, there we go. There it is. This should be the rest of our stuff. Uh, quite a bit of things, in fact. We got our medical kit back, we got our energy pack, and all of our ammo finally stocked up again. And it looks like the Rex has killed a Triceratops, so I think we could probably claim that. I'm not entirely sure, but we can try. Uh-oh. Um, here goes nothing. Time to take down aerial support. And we missed. Got to get a better open area because these guys are kind of annoying. I don't see it either. Oh my gosh, where'd you come from? Finally. Holy. I did not think that it would come from behind me. It really did not seem like it was going to. And that is a rare skin type, so that's going to give us a little bit more money. And somebody mentioned in the comments in the last video that they thought the rare skin type might have actually been why we got a little bit more money for one of the Giganotosaurus, and I guess that was correct. From what I can tell, it does seem like the rares give more cash, which is kind of cool. Definitely like that. Oh, and another thing that I forgot to mention with this brand new update that they're going to be bringing out very soon, they're actually going to introduce a, uh, a scoring system that's very similar to Call of the Wild from what I can tell. It, it looks very similar at least, and I'm pretty excited for that. There we go. There's a little bit more of our gear. Um, I'm assuming, yeah, it was just a little bit more ammo, but I mean, I'm just happy that we are finding most of our stuff again. Yeah, we can honestly use all the ammo that we can get, so I'd hate to lose some of it. Ooh, what is that? Is that an Iguanodon? I think that is some Iguanodon. Or maybe a Shant? No, those are Iguanodons. Okay, so I have yet to see some of these. This is actually pretty cool. Uh, let's see if we have any uh, contracts for them. No, we don't. Okay, so... Not going to be able to get these in a contract, but we can at least take them out real quickly and kind of want to get closer that way if they start to run, we can hopefully get another shot into them and get them down. All right, here we go. And they keep falling down more. I keep sliding, it's not good. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that was way too close. Uh, I didn't hit me thankfully, and we can claim it real quickly. Let's uh, get back. <laughs> I don't want to die to the second one. We survived the first, let's not die to the second. That would not be good. Maybe we can even get the second one if we're lucky enough. I'll have to move around a little bit, but I think we can do it. 
Ooh, there it is. I see it right there. And we just got a new question mark to show up, which means, uh, like in this direction, yeah, like right in that direction, there should be a brand new fast travel point. There we go, we got it down. Honestly, did not expect to uh, get it down that quickly at this range, but it did pretty good. It did uh, really well, actually. And, ooh, what is that? That's like some type of point of interest, I think. That's like some type of broken down vehicle. Or is that a rock? That's gotta be a vehicle, right? No? Is that a rock? I, I can't even tell. Oh, it's definitely just a rock. Well, that's unfortunate, but at least we got this guy down right here. Hopefully this one will be like a rare fur type. I don't remember what the other one looked like. We got something else close it sounds like, but let's grab this guy right here. This is just a common, so uh, same as the last one. Okay, so I see the point that we're supposed to go to. There's also an Anki over there, so we're going to take out that Anki as we run over to this new fast travel location. Uh, there's a couple Ankies actually. Uh-oh, they are both after me. Oh! <laughs> no! Okay, we got one. Uh, we might have got the other one too, actually. I think the other one might have died, so let's uh, go back over there and see. Oh yeah, it definitely did. Okay, so we got both of them. That is great because I did not want to die there considering how close we are to this location. That would have been very sad if we had died. But thankfully, we did end up living and we've got this location right here. There we go. We have discovered the new location. This is the fuel depot. So I'm guessing there's got to be a place like up here and maybe one over here. There's got to be. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and sell off all these dinos. Uh, this is the one right here. How much can we get? Oh, this is going to be a decent amount, actually. 443. Not quite good enough to get the hunting rifle yet. This is what I'm trying to work towards because it's got a better scope, it looks like, and it also has a higher capacity magazine, it says. Uh, so we want to try and work up to that. We're probably going to do that in a different video, though. I think we've been going long enough for this one, especially since we spent so much time trying to get away from those Rexes, but we should be getting a pretty awesome update very soon, and I'm super excited. I've actually really been enjoying this game a lot, a lot more than I ever expected to, and I'm so happy that I finally discovered it a year after its initial release. It's a crazy that it's been out for that long, and I just never knew about it until recently, and it's been so much fun. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click the like button, and ring that notification bell so you guys will never miss another upload. With that being said, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!